So I literally just got done making this. I am so excited. I am so, so proud of this. This is literally what I'm running around the house Snapchatting right now. I said, oh God, I'm the Wolverine mother I said, I'm gonna cut you. <laughs> so let's get into how I made it. <laughs> so let's get into how I made this. So these beautiful helmet files are from Nico Industries. They retail for $20 and I was super excited about this build because I've never printed something with a faux faux fabric texture on it before. The dome took about five days to print and came out just beautifully. Absolutely zero print lines and honestly, zero finishing work to this. Now admittedly, originally I wanted this to be a raw print build with the yellow and the black, but after seeing how well it came out, I knew I had to do a battle damage paint to really bring this thing to life. So let's get into it. I hit the wings or the handles as Deadpool referred to them, as well as the sideburns with a medium grit sanding block. Looking pretty solid, so then it's on to the first coat of primer. Next, we're gonna do a 220 wet sand to even out these layer lines. So since we're doing a multi-level paint job with battle damage, I went with the fact that the multiple layers of paint will probably cover up most of my layer lines. So I went straight into the chrome paint undercoat. I noticed a few outstanding layer lines, so I went in with a 400 grit wet sand and then another coat of chrome paint. Using this image as reference, I started in with the liquid latex method, adding the latex where the scratches would show up. So the more I looked at this reference image, the more I could tell that the sideburns were black as well as the wings being a navy and then the eyes being black. So I went ahead and got this satin navy paint from Home Depot. After the top coat, we can peel the liquid latex off, revealing our undercoat of chrome. After this, I scratched up the wings using an X-Acto knife, and then I did a once over with a black wash to really give it some depth. As I had mentioned earlier, the eyes are black, so then I taped everything off and hit that with some black matte paint. For the first pass of weathering on the helmet, I'm doing a wet wash of black acrylic paint and dabbing it away. Next, I go in with my airbrush to really bring out the details of the fabric lines. I use a cheap Amazon setup with a Pash gun and it's really, really next level. The watered down acrylic almost gives it a sweat effect, so I'm adding an even deeper layer with a dry brush of black acrylic paint and dabbing away the excess. To give this even more depth, I'm dry brushing over with some chestnut brown acrylic paint. Now let's magnetize this baby. I use these magnets from Harbor Freight, but honestly, I would use these magnets off of Amazon that are thinner. The keys that were meant for the sideburns were brittle and snapped off in test fittings, so I decided to glue them in place and then plastic weld the sideburns to the helmet using a soldering iron. For the eyes, I decided to use a computer mesh that I use for Spider-Man lenses, which I'll link below, and then you just cut it to size and hot glue them in. There you have it. One of my absolute most favorite builds that I've had in a quite some time. Super pumped with the movie, super pumped with the helmet, and I've got some more Wolverine projects on the way. I um, think I'm gonna be doing a suit as well. So stay tuned, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, if this helped you out in any way. Subscribe to follow along for more Wolverine and Deadpool content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Push, 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 push. Probably should not do that again. Cue the B-roll.